Hello everyone, I've got something really cool this time. I made the game Set. And uh, Set is a card game uh, in which you need to find a set of three cards. And all these cards have different attributes. Uh, they have the attributes color, like green or quantity, or like tree or width in this case. Like the original game had like other attributes but like I chose I chose uh, these ones because like it's easier that way with HTML and websites and you can like find find sets so like these three are a set because like the color is the same quantity is different and width is the same so the three attributes are all different are the same and for instance like this I think is also a set well, yeah, I'm so freaking good at this game. But like, for instance, these two and this third one is not a set. Because like, they these two have the same attribute, same width, and this one does not. So it's not like totally different or the same. So that one doesn't work. This one also doesn't work. I can't actually find anything. But the biggest thing about this is that it's a multiplayer game. So you can... So everyone that like goes to this website plays on the same server and as you can see like ooh, you can like play it with as many people at the same time like there's a scoreboard on the side and you can play it with as many people as you want and yeah it's a really fun card game it's a uh, a little math and mathy. It's a little bit about perception. And uh, this is the I made. Uh, yeah, and it's a lot of fun. And I also want to like quickly explain like how I did how I uh, like made it. Um, there's like uh, you have like a, a deck, like a server, like. It has uh, a deck, Ooh, yeah, a deck, and you and I like shuffle the deck, and yeah, uh, like uh, so the server has like a lot of players. Ooh, where do I save the players? Oh, and like every time someone connects, like it gets added, added to the players, and like you can send uh, with using. It's made with socket.io. I love socket.io. It makes like all this stuff extremely easy. I I I wouldn't even. I don't know if there's even an option to do it without socket.io. I don't think like Node.js can do this out of the box or something. I don't know. But like you can fire select. Uh, events Ooh, which are uh, identity oh they uh, no with uh, with the one you selected and like then the server keeps track of like who you are and like what you selected and like all kinds of cool stuff if you want to look you can like go to my github page and go to set multiplayer like i got a server and a client um oh and then go to the okay so this is the okay but there that's where i'll keep all the changes and like i host this site is hosted by heroku so thank her uh, thank you a lot heroku and uh, it's like really cool stuff